another episode of the Hulk. Today is part two of how the cycle is going on the Hulk. So we end up in the other video, we end up adding the Fritz uh, turbo start 900. We end up dumping that right in there. So I've been tracking the results, checking the ammonias, the nitrates and the nitrate to make sure that everything's gonna be safe for these fish. Well, we're going into like our third day right now and I end up checking all the results. I have the reef bot that's in the fish room. It does all my water testing for me right now. We're gonna go into the fish room. I'm gonna show you on the screen of the reef bot and the samples I've been taking over the past uh, few days watching how the tank is cycling. And as soon as everything looks perfect, we can start adding fish. Everything's been going great. Um, like I said, the reef bot, it does all the testing at night. When I wake up in the morning, all the results are on my phone. I'm gonna to have to say the Turbo Star did a really excellent job and it was fast. Three days in, everything's perfect. I can start adding fish. I'm not going to rush it right away. I'm just going to let it do its thing. Uh, you know, the bacteria is going to it's going to grow. It's going to count. Um, I have a few fish I already have from my other uh, display tank that I'm moving into here, so they're going to be pretty happy. I got uh, one uh, platinum clown, a regular clown, and an anthea that have been hanging out, and they're ready to go in this tank. Those three fish will even help uh, populate the bacteria as well because they're going to be creating waste. Why not get them in there? because uh, they're over in one of my cube tanks. They've been just chilling because my other cube tank, I took it down when I knew I was gonna start doing this build. I didn't want to have to focus on multiple tanks. I just wanted to have one tank and I'm not having multiple tanks anymore. It's just too much work. That's why I'm putting so much effort into this tank, get everything all automated. So I pretty much can just sit back and enjoy it. So that's the plan. So yeah, the turbo start worked really well. Um, if you guys should check some of this out, put that in your tank, it's pretty awesome. Well, let's go into the fish room. I want to show you guys on the screen the ammonia levels, uh, the nitrate, nitrate levels, and how everything has been going there. I'm going to have to say that I'm really enjoying how the reef bot works. I like that it cleans itself, it takes its test, and it's pretty accurate. Like, I tested up against like a solver test kits to make sure like the API was, you know, around that area. And I have to say, it's been bang on. Like, I'm very happy with it and have the results just right to my phone. Like separately, after I have like all the ammonia and nitrates and all that stuff out of there, I'm gonna change those elements out and uh, put different ones in there because the cycle is over. And I'll just put the major, like, you know, PO4. I ended up putting a PO4 in there from um, from Elos. It's in there, I tested it, it was zero, there's nothing going on, but I want to see how it would work. But I'm pretty satisfied, guys. You should, you should check out that reef bot. Some people say it's for the lazy reefer, Oh, I'm no lazy reefer, and uh, if it's one thing, it's a tool that's gonna keep me consistent every day, doing my test, or every other day, you know, when you get tired and you don't wanna do testing, I'm one of those people, I think it's gonna make me a better reefer, to be honest with you, because I'm gonna be testing those elements all the time, I'm gonna stay on top of it by just getting all those readouts, and then I can judge how everything's going, and uh, tweak everything from there, because if you're tired, you're home from work, and you don't really feel like testing on the weekend, it's gonna do it for you, so why not? It's not, you know, you guys leave your message, well, that's for a lazy reefer, or, you know, it costs $850. Well, maybe go get one, spend the 850, and see what you think. A lot of people don't wanna spend that money, you know what I mean, and, you know, it is expensive, but in the end, if it's doing a great job and it's keeping you consistent as a reefer, why not, you know what I mean? And um, so, yeah, I'm not a lazy reefer, as you guys can tell definitely banging it out and having a good time doing it. It's just, I like technology and putting more tech on this uh, tank, you know, is gonna make me a more successful reefer, Hey, I hope so, but you never know. That's why anything with like technology and uh, make sure it's all calibrated and you know, just don't test that. Like if you have one test kit, like I'm using API, some people say, you know, the ranges are crazy on that. But I, you know, I take a sulfur test kit. I'm a big fan of sulfur and uh, Elos uh, test kits and I put them up against the API because of the way that this tank is cycling, just to make sure, was it really everything so perfect, everything's at zero, or is there a flaw in the results? But I put all my trust in the reef bot and everything was bang on, I can't complain. And I tell you God honest truth, if it wasn't working, I'm not putting it on my tank. So that's uh, my little tidbit about the reef bot. I don't say it's for a lazy reefer, maybe it's a reefer that doesn't want to spend the money because things are expensive. You know, we're all different. You want to go buy one, go buy one. If you don't, you don't. But that's my 
review on how the brief bot's working for my cycle. I was very up in the air how it was gonna work. Um, you know, I could have done all the tests manually, perfect, not a problem, but I enjoy having the technology right there. Wake up in the morning, it's already done, have a coffee, bang. Perfect, why not? So moving forward with the Reef Bot, I'm gonna get a few more uh, different test kits for in it and uh, just keep going from there and I'll keep you guys uh, reviewing on this because the stuff that you're gonna see on this tank, um, like this tank is gonna be uh, fully dominated. I got a lot of good uh, SPS acro corals that are gonna be going to this tank very soon. Very excited, I got some really, really, really nice uh, you know, SPS corals for you guys to check out. And moving forward, that's the whole plan here is be successful in this tank and watch these corals grow and the fish. That's the plan. So let's let's keep going in there. I'm gonna keep jabbering on here a little bit, but let's go in the fish room. I'll show you guys up on the screen how the results are looking. And then, you know, we can start getting some fish and getting some corals in this tank. For my SBS corals, I want the tank to mature a little bit. So the cor corals I'm getting, they're all fresh cuts. I'm letting them, I'm getting them, uh, letting them all heal up and crust onto the frag plugs before I even get them because I want those to be successful. I'm not very keen on fresh cuts and getting them. So they're healing at another guy's uh, tank that fragged them all. So they're healing up before I put them in here. I want this tank to age a little bit before I put them and introduce any uh, SPS corals in there. I find it be, you know, it's gonna be more successful having the tank and everything all stable and putting the calcium reactor online, make sure my pH is in check. Because right now my pH is sitting around like uh, like 7.65. I definitely want to try to get that over eight. And um, I'm gonna see what I can do to get it there because I've been monitoring it and I'm having a hard time getting it over that pH over eight. I don't like chasing numbers very often, but I want to get that, you know, some nice coral growth and stuff. I definitely want to get that pH up above, but we'll do the calcium reactor. And if that doesn't help boost it up just a little bit, um, there's always a Calquaster. I have one of them that we can dose a little bit in my work as well. So let's go into the fish room. Let's go check out the results. I just want to show you guys how, to, how well the turbo fritz work. I'm like three days in, it looks perfect to me. And uh, like I said, I tested it up against my other sulfur test kits to make sure what I was getting on the reef bot is what what's going on in my tank just to make sure before we put anything in there. All right, farmhands. So we got the reef bot. I'm loving this toy. This is another piece of equipment, a tool that's definitely, hopefully it's gonna make me be more of a successful reefer. We're not a lazy reefer, we just like like technology. So let's go here, I got everything up on the board here. So this is EPI stuff. So we have our ammonia, I've been doing tests periodically throughout the days, and this is what we're getting. We got our ammonia, it's at zero, our nitrate is at zero, and our nitrate is at 0 0.1. But I just did this test today, it was at 0 0.2, and it's coming down, it's almost at zero, and I threw the ELOS in there just for the hell of it, and tried that one, and I ended up, that was on yesterday, and zero on that. So that's pretty sweet. So I just want to show you guys how this all works. And one thing too now with the reef bot, they start integrating it with the IP address through the Apex. Um, it's like on a trial basis right now. And um, it, it, you can add a few things in there. Nothing really that's standing out that is being very uh, helpful at the moment. Cause I don't know, it's another little app, app to put on there, but I can't see anything why at the moment, why it would be that useful. So that's what I just wanted to show you. I got the test for all the 24th there to see this is what was going on in my tank. All right guys, so I'm pretty happy with it. We're just, now we're just at 0. You know, 0. 0.1 ppm. And it looks pretty sweet. So that's what we're looking at guys. Um, I just wanted to give you an, like an idea of how this reef bot works, how well um, you know the Fritz uh, Turbo Start 900 work, and uh, give you a little update there. All right, farm hands. So that's my little update on how the cycle is going on this tank. Hopefully you guys can see this pretty good. You know, I got the lens on there. So everything's coming along really well and it's really nice and clear and the cycle's going really well. So next thing, we're gonna start getting some fish in here. I gotta finish the stand. I have that, that came in, all the glass that's gonna finish off this stand and get nice and green and uh, moving forward. So if you guys could, uh, you know, please leave your comments below. If you guys could give this video like, you know, 500 likes, it'd be freaking awesome. And just keep moving forward. And we could just get all these corals and get these fish going on here. Like you should see the selection of SVS acros that are gonna be going in this tank. They are on fire. Like they're gonna be smoking hot and I can't wait to show you guys. It's pretty excited and I can't wait to get them in my tank. So if you guys could just hit that little uh, bell in the corner, 
That'd be awesome so you guys can get all your notifications and hit the little subscribe button so we can just keep moving with this channel and get a lot more content and just start filling this tank, all right? So please subscribe and hit that like button.